Hello, my name is Jay Kong, and I'm a product manager at Google working on Android gaming and graphics. Today, I'd like to introduce the new Android GPU inspector. So we've talked with a bunch of game developers and we've heard you. Graphic optimizations is very hard on Android. The GPU on Android is like a black box. To optimize a game, you often have to rely on insights provided by other platforms. Plus, different GPUs require different vendor tools, which does not make for a very good developer experience. The Android graphics team is putting in a lot of work to address that. So today, we're proud to announce the developer preview of Android GPU Inspector. Android GPU Inspector is an open source graphics profiling tool that supports GPUs from different vendors. Our vision is to help you profile and debug graphics on Android, regardless of device. With this tool, you'll be able to look into your Android GPU at a level of detail that was not achievable before. We've worked very closely with Qualcomm, ARM, Imagination, and Samsung Mobile to make this possible. We'd like to thank them for their ongoing support and collaboration on this project. Next, let's dive quickly into the features of Android GPU Inspector. This tool can take a trace of events from your entire system. That includes system activities and hardware counters. Once you take them, it plots them on a timeline similar to our SysTrace tool. However, the key difference from SysTrace is that Android GPU Inspector provides GPU hardware counters and activity information. I'll now show you a few real world examples that we've encountered. So, this is an example of a real Android game out there. I'm going to walk through it. In this screenshot, as part of the trace we took, we see both clocks per second and GPU utilization. Looking at these hardware counters more carefully, we can see when the GPU is executing and clearly identify GPU frame times. Knowing the GPU frame time, we can quickly tell if the GPU workload needs to be optimized to hit our desired frame rate. Here, we can see that the frame time is about 22 milliseconds. If we want to hit 60 frames per second, we'll need to make some optimizations. We can also dive deeper to look at more complex GPU hardware counters to see where we can make those optimizations to hit 60 frames per second. Here, we can look at information about texture cache misses. The percentage of L1 texture cache misses peaks at about 71%. This is extremely high and shows that the game is likely misusing texture cache and is using more memory bandwidth than necessary. This means there's likely some huge optimizations opportunities out there. So we briefly touched upon a few hardware counters in this example. There are many more different types of hardware counters that can help you with your performance analysis through this tool. Now we have a different trace. Besides hardware counters, we can also see CPU thread activity as well as Vulkan GPU activity. In the bottom set of GPU activity tracks, we can see a VKQ submit event in yellow, and that it points towards the associated GPU activity information in blue and purple. This information tells us how long it takes between when the app submits the work and when the GPU starts to process it. Knowing this helps us identify bubbles in the pipeline. I've talked about various individual features of what we call the systems profiling mode. Android GPU Inspector truly shines when we put all of these various capabilities together. Here's an example of a real world Vulkan game that doesn't handle pre-rotation correctly. It's an issue we've seen in a lot of Vulkan titles out there, but we were never able to quantify the impact until we built this tool. So with CPU activity in the bottom track, we can see that the CPU is about spending roughly about 2.4 milliseconds doing this rotation work. Then as we follow the timeline, we can also see that GPU utilization increases by about 40%. This means there's an increase in power usage and a decrease in battery life. In parallel, on the top track, we can see that the GPU is spending about three milliseconds doing this work. Since this issue happens in every single frame, solving it presents a huge optimization opportunity. We've also worked on this tool with, with a few game partners like Jam City, Blizzard Entertainment, and Gameloft. 
We also want to thank them for working with us and providing feedback on the Android GPU Inspector. We also partner with Crytek using the tools to help them optimize CryEngine for Android. As you might have heard on the key, in the keynote, CryEngine for Android will be available in the near future. You can learn more about CryEngine at the URL listed on this slide. While it's super helpful to be able to see how the overall system is performing as our game runs, sometimes we want more information, like being able to dive deeply into a single frame to profile and debug it. This is something that we're working on, and GPU frame profiling mode is a top area of focus for our team. Also, as hinted before, the tool is currently Vulkan first. Improved OpenGL ES support is also something the team is very focused on. The tool currently supports Pixel 4, Pixel 4 XL, Samsung Galaxy Note 10, and Samsung Galaxy S10. Both the Exynos and the Qualcomm versions of the Samsung devices are supported. While we're still working on the number of supported devices, it's extremely important to remember that the vast majority of optimizations are device independent. Being able to look into an Android GPU unlocks a lot of low-hanging fruit. Both the Samsung and Pixel devices are utilizing updatable graphics drivers to power the tool. We've also heard from you that a key pain point on Android is that graphics drivers are not very updatable. This is something that we've placed a lot of focus on as well. The Android GPU Inspector would not be possible without updatable graphic drivers. This also means that as our hardware partners continue to improve the quantity and the quality of information they export through the driver, you'll be able to reap those benefits on your existing devices. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Please sign up for the Android GPU Inspector Developer Preview at the following link on the slide. We're very excited to hear your feedback on it. Once again, thank you.